In this video, we will learn about Q. Q is a linear data structure which follows FIFO, that is first in first out method, which means that the data or the element which is stored first in the Q will be accessed first. Taking a real world example, suppose there is an ATM and a person comes to withdraw money. While he is withdrawing the money, another person comes and joins the queue and after a while one more person comes and joins the queue. Therefore the person who arrived first gets to use the ATM first and then the second person followed by the third. And similar is the concept of queue data structure. The two ends of the queue are called front and rear where front denotes the starting of the queue and rear denotes the end of the queue. Insertion always takes place at the rear of the queue and the elements are accessed or removed from the front of the queue. That is, if another person comes and joins the queue, we will move the rear to the last person. And similarly, when the first person goes, the second person becomes the front of the queue. The basic operations that we perform with queue are NQ which means insertion at the rear, DQ which means removal from the front, show front to show the element at the front, and is empty to check whether the queue is empty or not. Application of queues include scheduling, that may be CPU scheduling or job scheduling, and queue is also used in buffers, for example, input output buffer. If we take an example of a printer, the printer also uses a queue to schedule all its printing jobs, that is, if we give the command to print the document one, and after that we print the document two followed by document three, then they will form a queue wherein the document 1 will be processed first followed by document 2 and at the end the document 3 will be printed leaving the queue to be empty which means that there are no further documents to print. Now in the next tutorial we will see how we can implement queue using array and using linked list but generally every language has its own implementation of queue so we will also look at the queue implementation in C++. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching.